Hello. Um, today, I'm going to answer a question from MS Office Forums. So, this guy's asking if you could add a milestone date onto a task in Microsoft Project. Um, well, the only way I can think about it is doing something manually, and uh, that's what I'm going to demonstrate today. So assuming we have this shadow and we want to add a milestone to this dummy three task. So let's say we want to add a milestone date of, um, say, let me see, let me check a date in this the calendar. Yeah, say the 1st of February, we want to add the 1st of February, a milestone for the 1st of February on this task. So how we approach it, if you know me, you know I like um, custom fields. What I'll do is I'll add a custom field, a date custom field. Um, so let's try, let's go with dates. I like using the last custom field. So let's go with date 10 and say we select the 1st of February. Now, Next thing is to see how we can add it to, to the Gantt chart. So if I do format bar styles. So first of all, before, let me just check if the date, the date custom field I've chosen is an option for, for the bars. So if I type date, as you can see, it's not an option. So that's not an option. So this won't work. So we'll hide this. Oh, let me just um, we'll hide this. Um, let's find out which date fields, are, custom fields are available to us. I'll just insert a new row. Let's see. Uh, the baseline fields are available. I don't want the baseline field. So you can see the finish, finish custom finish field is available. The custom start fields are also available. So, okay. So let's go. We we'll use. Um, let me insert a new column again, but this time we we'll go for start. Then we okay. can. Put the field settings, just call it um, task milestone. Okay. And if you see this, um, the guy wants to add a milestone date. So that's what we're going to do uh, with the word with go live. Okay. So. Add that so the task milestone for this. Let's choose first of February. Now let's format the bars. So we go format bar style. So you see, I'm choosing Gantt chart format bar styles. Um, I'll insert it on that task because we're doing the easiest way to do this is just to copy. to copy the show for. So just copy, click inside the newly inserted row, paste. Now for shape, pick a milestone shape. Yeah, that. For the start, because I'm using start field. Um, for the middle part, leave it blank. Yep, that's the shape we want. For the row, because I want it to appear over the task, I choose row one. If you want it to appear below, you go for row two, but I want it to. Now, remember my, this field, this task milestone is actually task, uh, start 10 field. So, but if you say task milestone, it's not appearing. So if you choose start 10, Start 10 from start 10 to 
ten. Yep. Okay. And you click OK. Voila. That's our milestone there. On the first of February. Okay. What if we want to add um a date to it? So you can do format bus style. Click on your on the task milestone row. We come to text. I want it on top of it, so I go for my start ten. The date appears. First of February. If you, yeah, we could do other things with this. What if we need to add them? Um, Want to add the word, want to add the name of the milestone, let's say let me add this field setting, task milestone date. It is a task milestone name. I call this go live. So now that we have uh, the task master name, we go back to Our uh, bus styles text instead of start 10, we do text 10. You have your go live milestone. So you decide what you want to show. So, um, the other ways of combining, I can actually format this to combine both the dates and the the text to show them above the milestone but that will be the subject of another video so that's all for today thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day mm -hmm.